Well, thanks for having me. It's good to be back. You know, when we talk about careers, which is one of the eight elements in the Wheel of Life assessment, let me tell you a story. A few years ago, at one of my workshops, a woman named Betty came up to me afterwards and said, I'm so frustrated with my career. What should I do? Well, I asked Betty what type of work she did, and she told me, I'm a high school teacher. I learned that Betty's frustration was based on the lack of direction her students received about their future. Too many were just drifting through high school and had no plans for their future. So I asked Betty if she ever thought about being a student counselor instead of an English teacher. She thanked me and she said eh, she'd think it over. Then just a few months ago, I saw Betty at another workshop. Betty approached me afterwards and told me she had made the transition from an English teacher to a student counselor and loved her job. She smiled and thanked me. You know, there's an old expression. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Now, I'm not sure I can take any credit for Betty's career decision, but the point here is we all have choices and we should dedicate ourselves to doing the kind of work we love. So during the course of 10,000 Days Retreat, we talk a lot about careers because most people want to live a life worth remembering and do something positive. So here are some of the questions we ask during the course retreat that challenge people to think about their work, their career, and how they want to spend their future. First of all, what are you passionate about in life? You know, I've met teachers, social workers, photographers, and even accountants who have a real passion for their work. They love getting up in the morning and going to work. And you know what? That's how it should be. Secondly, what are you really good at? It's not enough to simply have passion for something. I think you also need to have the right skills and training so you can get hired or generate clients if you're self-employed. Now, just last week, I met an auto mechanic who not only had a passion for his work, but he could explain how every engine part worked and why. Wow, now that's skill. Next, you need to ask yourself, is the job or career you're contemplating a good fit for you, socially speaking? You know, it's one thing to have passion and skills, but you also need to fit in socially. I knew an attorney who worked in a big law firm, and he hated it. Eventually, he quit and got a job teaching at a law school, where he was very happy because he had found a job that was the right social fit. And finally, can you make enough money to support yourself? There's a joke I like to tell that really drives home this point. So here it is. What's the difference between a drummer and a pizza? A pizza can feed a family of four. <laughs> well, no offense to all my drummer friends out there, but you'd better be pretty darn good at whatever you decide to do if you want to make enough money to support yourself and your family. So if you're looking for answers to guide you on your career, I recommend you attend the course retreats. For more information on dates and schedules, visit our website at 10,000days.org. I'm Tom Hinton, and I look forward to helping you make the rest of your life the best of your life.